Hello rugby fans and welcome back to the channel and today we have part three of my Six Nations playthrough as England. Of course so far we have come up against Scotland and France and come through both of those games and in the third episode today we are away to Ireland. So yeah, this is EA Sports Rugby 21, which is basically the old EA Sports Rugby 08 game modded. If you want to get this game as well in this condition, then please do check out my channel. I've got tutorial videos on how to get this game looking like this. So check that out if you want something similar. But before we get into today's episode, please do drop a like if you haven't already. It really helps other people discover my channel. Leave a comment down below, I get back to all of them. Let me know what you think of this series and are there any changes you want me to make to the starting 15. And of course, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. So we're going to fire off straight into this match now. And um, yeah, we'll obviously be England. Is it worth going away? No, I think we'll stay like that. And I have made a few changes to the starting 15 from the previous episode. As we are here now at the Aviva. England and Ireland walking onto the pitch. Lining up for the anthems and the scene is set. Of course, in the previous episode, probably the most difficult team in this Six Nations in real life, France. As you can see, we brought Mako Vinopola in, Jamie George, Courtney Laws, Anthony Watson, to name a, but a few. Change things right up. Ireland with some big names themselves. I don't think I saw Johnny Sexton there, actually. Yeah, sorry, in the previous episode we were playing France, which could have well been our toughest match of the Six Nations, and we came through it. So we are two from two, and the Grand Slam is well and truly still on for us. As George Ford now will look to kick off and get this game underway. Diving tackle there from Courtney Laws, I think. Murray's got the ball out early for Ireland. Burns is bursting his way through. Plenty of offloads, getting a bit sloppy already. Burns looking to kick to touch, which he does. So we have our first line out of the matchup, which is to England. Let's see what we can do. Nice, comfortable line out. Maro Atoji there. Oh, terrible pass from him. Interception. And they've got acres of space out on this side. Good tackle from George Ford. Murray away again. Late tackle there. Let's see if we can turn the ball over. No one really supporting him in the ruck, unfortunately. And Burns again looking to touch, and he makes it. Daily, we will, we will not be going for a quick one there in that position. Right, we need to clear our lines here. Unfortunately, a terrible line out, so Ireland are in fantastic position here. Can they make this count? Loads of space out here. Lovely tackle there. Beautiful tackle. And it's given us a chance to clear our lines luckily for us nothing came of that disappointing start losing that initial uh, they've got the advantage I think we we're offside making plenty of ground here has the advantage gone oh terrible pass from Youngs unbelievable what a sloppy start this has been so far England Winning in the pack weights. Let's see what we can do here. Ah. 
Pressed the wrong button there. And they've scored. Terrible, terrible start from us. So, so sloppy, all starting from that line out that we lost. And then we managed to win the ball back and Ben Young's question marks over him in real life. A lot of people are saying it's time to pass the mantle on to say um, one Harry Randall, for example. And he's not doing himself any justice on this game with a pass like that. So yeah, just coming up 20 minutes gone and a disappointing start for England. Really need to get their acting gear. Let him take the ball there. Port Burns is going to kick the touch there. Got him down. Slow to get to the ruck. Vinopola, not sure what he's doing there. Acres of space now for Ireland. Good tackle. Oh, what a kick this is. Can we get the ball first? Elliot Daly does. He's gone out to the left. He's gone all the way around. It's good stuff there from Elliot Daly. Probably should have kicked, really. Luckily for him, nothing came of it. Now England finally getting a chance with Vinopola bursting through. Ah, and Ireland have turned it over on the 50 metre halfway line. Ford cannot close it down. Elliot Daly now looking for a touch. Nope. Bit of an up and under there. What is going on? Surely he's offside. Let's go out this way. Ford, Slade, to Alangi on his own. No one with him. Daly picks it up, luckily for us. But this first half has been a bit of a shambles. Ford with an up and under there. Not the greatest of decisions deep inside the 22. But it's given Ireland the ball straight back. Now Stockdale. Can we tackle him? We can. We've won it back. Now this time, no messing around. Slade kicks it away to touch. And we've got the first scrap of the game. Go on, son. Right, let's see what we can do. Yes, great stuff. Ah, Young's held on to it too long, really. Ball is down. Ugh, not, I think that was Ford trying to get the crafty offload in. And a Pula, Pula with a lovely tackle. Half time, and we just want to keep the deficit to seven, really, at the break. Slade dangerously close to offside. Aki bursting through. Get him down. Offloads galore. Burns so close. Just get it out. Just get it out. And that will be half time. An absolute shocker really, wasn't it? Sloppy all over the place. Didn't really carve out any chances. I don't think we barely got into the Irish half. Let alone close to their 22. So a very disappointing first half. Eddie Jones needs to get into the boys at half time. And hopefully we can turn this game around. But the Grand Slam is on the line. Ireland playing very, very well. George Ford with a big kick. Didn't really do a lot there. I think Young's has won it back, but then... Ah, Slade again. Flirting with the offside line.
Yeah, I think Ford intercepted there in the um, hustle and bustle. But gave it straight back to Ireland. Sloppy. Murray kicks to touch. Let's see what we can do at the line out. Lovely stuff again. Any support there from Young for Young's Slade to Alangi could have done with one more. Really didn't happen. Courtney Laws looking to burst through. Let's see if we can just make up some ground. Really, Underhill plowing through. Thought he might keep on his feet there for a minute. Otoji now slowly making our way back up to the halfway line. Youngs. Johnny May. Oh, intercepted. Terrible pass from May and England are just so sloppy at the minute. Burns with the up and under. Now Johnny May's got some space. Any support for him? Not really. Oh, just so, so sloppy at the minute from England. Can't put a couple of phases of possession together and Burns again he's loving the up and under Daly looking to break out and he does Vinopola can we keep with him no we've turned it back just can't do anything at the minute Lovely diving tackle from Sinclair, really showing some pace to get all the way up to the wing. Are we winning it back? No, we're not. Time is ticking, 20 minutes left. So far, extremely disappointing. I was going to say, could be a penalty there. George Ford with a dangerous tackle. Penalty to Ireland, and this is uh, looks like the Grand Slam is going up in smoke, but they don't find touch. Can we get some support for him? Laws bursting through. Let's see if we can go out right here. Underhill, Sinclair bursting through. One more. Ah, just no support there in defence. Well, that was a lovely tackle. I thought we ripped it out of his hands there. Ford get back to the line. Stockdale, lovely tackle from Ford. Bind. Let's see if we can do something here. Underhill, Watson. Gotta be. Slade. Something desperately needed here. Underhill, Watson. Bursting through. Ah, they've turned it over. Literally centimetres away. Unbelievable. So close. We needed that score. Really did. Youngs. George. Ford. Oh, and they've turned it over again. We just can't keep possession deep in their half. Farrell kicks it away in this... Not looking good at all, is it, for England? Right, now get it away, Youngs. Come on, time is ticking. Curry. Needs support with him. He has Slade. Get it down. Come on. We need the conversion. Four minutes left. Get in there. Oof. This has been a feisty, feisty game. With only a few minutes left. George Ford. Everything on the line. Come on, George. There we go. The game is level. We're going to get the ball back with about two and a half minutes to go. What can we do? See what we can do here, Toji. Just don't. Oh, for... oh, what's happened here? Penalty to England, offside. 
We're going to punt, aren't we? We're going to try and stick it in the corner and see what we can do. Oh, I'm not even sure that's going to go to touch Ford. Has he cost us? Has Ford cost us? Lovely tackle from Vinopola. Battle on the halfway line. Murray looking to get through. A little offload. Lovely stuff from Singler. Ah, oh, he, he did knock it on, didn't he? What are they going to do? They're going to call that the whistle. Unbelievable. I can't help but think George Ford with that penalty. Just get it in touch. Give us a chance. Don't know whether it was the wind or what, but he just couldn't quite make it. Unbelievable stuff. And we've come away with the draw. Seven points to seven. Let's see that where that le uh, leaves us. Seven points to seven. Scotland and France, an extremely close game. 21-22 to France. Ireland, Scotland. Scotland win that by 10. And France thrashing Italy as well. Here's the fixtures if any of you want to go back all the way through. We started off by beating Scotland 14 points to zip. Ireland beat Italy. Wales beat France. Wales then beat Ireland, we beat France, Scotland thrashed Italy, Wales I believe are the boys, let's get to the standings, and there we have it, Wales played 3-1-3, look at the points on the board as well, 101, England in second, played 3-1-2, drew 1, we're a point behind, Scotland, France, Ireland and Italy have all played four matches, so they only have one game left, so we don't really need to worry too much about them. But, as you can see, in the next episode is the big one. The undefeated Wales come to Twickenham to take on England, and you would think the winner of this match will win this Six Nations campaign. So it is something extremely good for you guys to look forward to. Of course, these episodes come out on the Friday of every real-life Six Nations weekend. So that's when you can expect them. And what a blockbuster we have in the next matchup. I cannot wait to see you guys there. But if you have enjoyed today's video, please do drop a like. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about that 7-7 draw with Ireland. I don't claim to be anything special on this game. But hopefully it's enjoyable and entertaining for you guys to watch. Of course, if you haven't already, please move that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the Virtual Scrum.